Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss how surface finish uh, alter the endurance limit of a component. See here, here friend two symbols the SC dash and at the SC. Here SC dash denote the endurance limit of a rotating beam ideal specimen and the SC denote the endurance limit of a particular component in actual condition. Okay friend. So here we are going to discuss the effect of surface finish factor on the endurance limit of the specimen. As I have already explained in the previous video about the uh, factors that affect the endurance limit that when the surface finish tend to increase then what will happen then the endurance limit tend to increase. Okay friend and similarly when the surface finish tend to decrease then the endurance limit will tend to decrease. Okay friend. So, as the surface finish plays an important role in determining the endurance limit, so we will consider a factor denoted by Ka that will give us an idea about the surface finish factor. So, this factor will determine the endurance limit, how endurance limit will change with the surface finish change. So, this factor actually varies from 1 to 0. As the surface factor denoted by Ka increases then the endurance limit will increase and if k a decrease then the endurance limit denoted by sc will decrease okay friend so here k a is the surface finish factor where k a is the surface finish factor okay friend so for the highly polished specimen for highly polished specimen for highly highly polished specimen specimen when k is taken as 1 also friend when the sc dash is the endurance limit of the ideal specimen and which is highly polished that is the ideal specimen is highly polished so the ka the surface finish factor will be 1 for the end uh, for the ideal specimen now if we want to determine the endurance limit of the actual specimen in actual condition then the endurance limit will decrease by sorry this se is equal to ka se dash where SC dash is the endurance limit of the ideal specimen and SE is the actual specimen actual specimen so the endurance limit of the actual specimen can be given in terms of the endurance limit of the ideal spe specimen using this factor that is the surface finish factor k and whose value vary from 1 to 0 so it is obvious that the endurance limit of the actual specimen will always be smaller than the endurance limit for the ideal specimen so this was all for this topic. I hope you will like my video. Friend, you can watch my all videos regarding the fatigue failure and you can boost your concept by studying all those videos that I have covered for the design of the component based on the fluctuating loading condition. So you can watch all these videos. I have covered lecture 1 to lecture 20 for this series. You can watch all those lectures and you can boost your concept. So thank you for watching the video.